Hello, Coach Chandler here, and welcome back to week three of caregiver training. This week, we are gonna talk about you as part of your child's environment. So you'll remember that the last two weeks, we have talked about reinforcement. Reinforcement is anything that increases the likelihood of a behavior occurring again in the future. But did you know that you can be a reinforcer for your child? We're gonna start off this week by taking a second to reflect on what are some of you and your child's favorite activities that you like to do together. What is it that you are doing that your child really enjoys? Take a second and write this down or think about it. An adult's attention is one of the most powerful and generally effective forms of reinforcement for a child. An adult's attention can be in the forms of hugs and kisses, tickles, maybe just talking to your child, or maybe just being in close proximity is providing them some form of attention, which is reinforcing. We call this type of adult attention social reinforcement. So why is social reinforcement so important? For three main reasons. One, it reduces the needs for edible or tangible reinforcement. Two, it increases the generalization and maintenance in everyday environments and settings. And three, it facilitates social skill learning. So how do you use social reinforcers to increase your child's behavior? We can do this in several ways. First, when you feel good about your child, tell them so. Another way is to look for nonverbal ways to praise or encourage your child. Another way is to look for little changes and successes instead of waiting until your child has done a task completely correct. Try to give praise on any effort or improvement to the task. Next, try to make your praise appropriate to your child's behavior. Give behavior specific praise. And finally, use praise and reinforcement in age appropriate manners. So what does it mean then that you as a parent or caregiver is part of the environment? I want you to take a second and reflect on what you think the environment is or what your child's environment is. Take a second. The environment is anything in your child's surroundings, meaning other people, the lighting, sounds, toys, or how your child is feeling. So that means that you are a very critical part of your child's environment. Therefore, you can use yourself or your presence to increase or decrease your child's behavior. Ways that you can use yourself as a form of reinforcement to increase a child's behavior is to look at your child, to provide physical contact in the form of hugs or kisses or other ways that your child likes, to engage in conversation with them and interactions with them. Therefore, to decrease your child's behavior, you want to do the opposite. You want to reduce your eye contact with your child. You want to stop verbally responding and maybe you move away from your child if they're engaging in behaviors that you don't wanna to continue to see in the future. So, to reflect on what we've learned this week, remember that you are a very critical part of your child's environment. Your presence around your child can have a very large impact on their behaviors. You can increase behaviors by engaging in that back and forth conversation with them labeling and naming what they are doing and being close to them, giving them hugs and tickles and kisses. But you can do the exact opposite if you wanna see some behaviors decrease. Remember that you yourself is a very powerful tool when we are working to shape our child's behaviors. 
Thank you for joining in this week and come back next week ready to soar with plane. Bye.